ODU women's basketball got a pivotal win last night. They beat Middle Tennessee, who was second in the division and actually was the defending division champion. And as we go along, it's becoming more obvious that Brianna Jackson is playing and producing at a much higher level with each game. We put Connor Reel on the story. After a dominant, award-winning run at Lansdowne and Princess Anne High Schools, Bree Jackson headed to the University of Miami. Right now, it would probably be about 75, 80. <laughs> Degrees, that is, but despite the Florida sunshine, Jackson soon found herself out of position. I was recruited there to be like a 3-4. I ended up playing a 5, which I was kind of undersized for that league. And that but paled in comparison to the role she could no longer play back home. Not a lot of people know my little brother and sister are autistic and blind. The only time I get got to see them was on video conference and all that. I couldn't actually hug them, talk to them, touch them, you know. So when ODU head coach Alicia Milton Jones started to recruit her from the transfer portal, it was a perfect fit. Well, me and Coach D established a relationship early on. I was one of the first transfers here since I'm already home. I was working with her in the summer. She is that caliber of player where she can come in and she can dominate the game. I push her buttons on the daily, and I love the fact that we have that type of relationship. I know when she coaches me hard, she means well. And she's growing in this situation here with us as this year progresses, and I couldn't be prouder of her. Jackson is playing more like herself. Most coaches that I've had um, try to hide the emotional side of me. Coach D tells me to play with my emotions, but under control. And doing so in front of the people who matter most. Um, just my family. Them coming to games for me and cheering me on is just motivation in itself. In Norfolk, I'm Connor Real, 13 years old.